What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the JSaver laptop backpack with a USB charging port. So this backpack can fit laptops up to 15.6 inches, and the backpack itself goes for $36 on Amazon, and I'll put a link down below on where you can buy it for yourself. So I believe they just come in the one gray color, and I hope I'm pronouncing that company name right. I think it's JSaver, it's J-S-V-E-R. But anyways, this company reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review the bag. And this isn't normally something I would review on my channel, but because it had that USB charging port and it's a laptop bag, I figured it was somewhat technology related and I also know that the majority of my subscribers are either in school or college, so I figured this might help some of you too and some of you might find it interesting. It is fairly cheap, so some of you might even want to go out and get one of your own. But anyways, I... I do plan on using this. This video will be kind of like in two parts in one. I am going to do the first half opening it up and then the second half I'm going to use it for a week and I'm going to come back and review it but I'm going to do this all in one video. I'm just going to clip the stuff together. Uh, I like how their bag, they package this well. They have a nice little Ziploc bag that it's shipped in and the bag also says JSaver, the company name. So this right here is the one color they make it in. It's kind of like a like a modern gray color and it's textured I don't know the word to call this it almost if it was like a metal it would be like a brushed color and that's kinda of what it is the cloth looks like it's a brushed color there's texture to it and it looks very nice there is one tag on the top here and that says the company information as well and there's a whole lot of little different extras and features I'm gonna mention on this bag those two lines you see on the front of the bag those are supposed to be reflective strips so if you're walking at night if any um, oncoming car is coming towards you, those will reflect light similar to a like a stop sign would, like the white part of a stop sign or a traffic sign. And this also has kind of like the looped zippers, so you could attach a little lock if you ever wanted to lock up your backpack. And there is a little, on one of the straps, there's a little sunglass strap, so you can attach your sunglasses to it. And then on the other one, I like this a lot, there's a smartphone suction cup holder there are little suction cups that will hold onto your smartphone and that strap will also hold onto your smartphone so you can carry your phone right there if you don't have pockets and you could easily plug in a headphone and listen to your music I am gonna test this out right now with my iPhone 6 Plus there is no case on the device if there is a case on your phone that might affect how this works because I don't know how well those suctions will stick to a case but just quickly suctioning it to my phone here it stuck very well and I could hear several of the suction cups attached to it so that wasn't going anywhere unless I pull it off and those two straps are also both adjustable to different heights and sizes and weights and the the trim of this is kind of like the bottom of it and kind of a bit the sides too it's kind of like a leathery feel like a rubbery leathery feel and I don't think it is leather but it is it's kind of like a nice rubbery material and it looks very nice and I'm gonna open up the bag now and show you guys the inside this backpack is rated to hold the laptop up to 15.6 inches and I do plan when I test this out to carry my laptop with it. We have several little pockets in here, one big one which I'm guessing is the laptop pocket and then we have little holders for pens and pencils and markers and whatnot. and this cord inside of here is what you would actually attach a USB power bank to to use the USB power outlet on the outside of the bag which I'm going to show you. So. This does not include the power bank. You will need your own power bank if you want to use that USB outlet. I'll put a link in the description below to the USB power bank that I'm using for this because I think this one's a very good size and it will fit in the bag pretty good. So right here on the side of the bag is the little USB outlet on the outside of the bag that you would plug your cable into. So I have an iPhone cable right here and you will need to supply your own cable obviously for whatever you're charging. You just plug it into the outlet and you can see I'm now charging my device. So it does run off of that power bank that is not included. You need to supply your own power bank, but that little black cable inside of the bag is built in and so is that outlet on the outside of the bag. All you need is your own power bank, your own charging cable for whatever you're going to be charging, and obviously your own device. And inside of the bag there's actually a little pouch to hold the power bank and this pouch holds my power bank perfectly so that's why I suggest using the power bank I have in this video just because it fits so perfect but you guys can use whatever one you have now on the top of the bag here there is also a second zipper 
This one is not a second pouch. It's actually expandable storage. You guys may have seen this on other backpacks. You unzip this little front zipper and the backpack kind of puffs out more and allows you to store more stuff inside. Now, me personally, I would kind of prefer that to just be a second pocket just because I like my backpacks having more pockets instead of one giant one, but that's the way they chose to do it, so you can puff that out a bit for some extra storage in there. And to be honest, this backpack's actually bigger than I was expecting because, I don't know, just looking at the pictures, I thought it was going to be like one of those one of those smaller bags, kind of about the size of a purse. I thought it was going to be very small, and this is a good medium-sized backpack. I would say with a laptop in there, I'll, I will probably be able to fit like two or three textbooks and maybe a notebook. I'm going to see when I test it all out, but it was definitely bigger than I was expecting. And then on the back of the bag, there actually is a secret little pocket too with a zipper, and that one's kind of discreet. If you have a phone, you might want to store it in there so nobody finds it if you have to put it in an unlocked locker. Now, I'm going to test this bag out, and I'm going to use it at school at my classes for a week, and I'm going to report back to you guys on how I like it, and I'm going to give you my review of it. All right, so I just finished testing this out for a week at my classes. I used it for five different days, and then I used it a little bit on the weekend as well. And I like the backpack a lot. Uh, one thing I have to say about those two little lines on the back though is that I did not find those very reflective at all. I think they need to tweak those a bit because I really didn't see any reflectiveness from those at night. I have it on a person here that is 5'8", so that gives you a little bit of a comparison on how big it is and how it will sit on you. And I found those suction cups for the phone to work great. I found the USB charging outlet to be very convenient and helpful as well. And I carried my Lenovo ThinkPad 520 in this. I don't know if many of you know that. It's not a very thin laptop. It's kind of a bit on the bulkier side and it held it just fine. And along with that ThinkPad, I also carried two textbooks, uh, two notebooks and a couple of folders and some utensils inside of those little pouches and it held everything just fine. And that's with the little extension puffed out as well. I kind of found that to be the maximum holding capacity for me. So I would rank this at like a a mid-level size backpack it's not tiny like I was expecting it to be but it's not huge where if you have like five classes and you have to carry five different textbooks and a laptop from class to class this definitely is not big enough for that it's a good mid-size backpack and I think it has a really cool sleek and modern look to it that it's kind of like a neutral backpack where anybody could wear it boy or girl and I mean I don't really see how this wouldn't go with anybody's like clothing or outfit or anything like that it's just a very neutral and modern looking backpack so I like it a lot and one little con that I found was that the area that has the suction cups underneath those suction cups inside of the strap there's kind of like a rectangular piece of like cardboard or plastic that kind of gives that area structure and makes a flat surface for your phone to sit on I found that the corner of that little squared piece of structure kind of rubbed uh kind of like poked into my chest a little bit it didn't it wasn't like painful it was just a uh, slightly uncomfortable at times and it was nothing huge i didn't notice it a whole lot but i figured it was worth mentioning but besides that i'd probably give this product like a 9 out of 10 i liked it a lot and there really was not a whole lot wrong with it and for the price of 36 dollars, you really can't beat that either so if you guys want to buy one of these for yourself click the link in the description below and if you guys want to see a lot more great reviews just like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thank you for watching from XM360.